division matchup. Well, we really don't see a lot of guys in MMA with boxing skills on this level. He certainly could have gone on to great things as a professional boxer, but he believes he has the best hands in the sport, and he will be looking to prove as much here tonight. And he has the background to prove that, right? He's not saying something that is not true. He does have the ability to say that. He can't say he has the best hands in the game because he has shown it. And when you watch him box, when you watch a guy go into a fight with this young man and think, that it does not matter what his credentials are. He is going to stand with him and prove that he's better. They usually will go to sleep because no action is wasted. The jab starts it all. He fights behind this beautiful, educated jab, jabbing high, jabbing low, and then the overhand right is unbelievable. It's his kill shot, he calls it, and he lands it all the time. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter. Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Walkerweight Division. Introducing first, fighting! Corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Irvine, California, Iron! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA! Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, commit to the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, and not fight. You ready? All right, so here we are back at the crew here in the Tri-State area, Newark, New Jersey. Big UFC live event coming up here tonight. And this, does, this, this event here doesn't get as many shows as it used to because of the New York legislation, but certainly they come out when the UFC's in town. Before the UFC was able to go to Madison Square Garden, we went to the Prudential Center. It was as close as we could get, and the fans always showed up. It is a great arena and a place for great fights. That's a big strike right there. And they separate. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Lunges forward with a left there. Lee's kick is blocked. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Look 
had him working at trying to shut him down. Both guys really throwing with authority. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Lee gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Trying to kick the leg out. Left hook counter there yet again. All right, so a high angle two double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack his double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hip, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. Close guard. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You got to defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Oh, single collar tie here. Just out of range with that right hook. He closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Whoa! Whoa! Wow. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, misses with the jab. That one stuck in. Nice strike. Big head kick. Hook shot attempt to the head here. Instead, it's blocked by Lee. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. All right, he engages nice. in the single collar tie. Misses with the right hand. Oh, how about a huge kick landed. Nice head kick. Oh, straight right. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, getting fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest a position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's gonna be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage? 15 seconds remain in the round. Oh, eats a knee. He lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. 
Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Oh, that's a nice strike. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Left hook counter. And they separate. Oh, a huge block there. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Lands with a right hand. He's hurt bad. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, that's a nice inside leg kick right there. Back and forth we go. He's very tricky when he throws that body. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Lee gets touched by that kick there. And he landed the right hand there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Head kick lands. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. And he continues to work the body here. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Big kick land. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, man, this is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at any point. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. Beautiful punch. Kick to the body is there. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Huge block there. That one is thrown to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, he might be out. Ooh, big shot to the body. Huge elbows! Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Connects with a right. Gave him inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Beautiful kick. right hand is true. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. I survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He 
did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. There. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Whoa! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Straight punch lands. What a tricky head kick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Going to the body there with the right kick. Oh, big diving punch to the head. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Back to his feet. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Great upper body movement defensively slips another strike there, and offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent, not being able to hit a guy that he's never really put away. But that's a testament to the head and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Missed with that right hand. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Can't take many of those. You better check. Oh, knee to the head. That never feels good. Oh, big left hand there. Oh! Huge fly! And they separate. Stop, stop, stop. Big body kick. And now he's got the tie clinch. Way to mix it up. Huge nice. elbow lands for the clinch. Man, it doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. And they separate. Oh! He's out! It's over! It's over! Goodness, what a fight. Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 18 seconds of the third round. Playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork. 